Most Disney movies are all sweetness and light, right? Sure, there are moments of tragedy. Bambi's mother being shot and Simba's father falling to his death reduced everyone who witnessed them to tears. But in general, the movies are all 100% child friendly. Or so they would seem on the surface. But there are actually some theories that turn some Disney movies into terribly dark affairs. Here are 10 Disney theories that turn into the darkest movies ever. We hope you enjoy it and please make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can keep coming back to watch more like it. Cool. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Up. 2009's Up is such a heartwarming movie. Its three main characters are two cranky old men and a nervous little kid, which is so unlike most movies these days, but it's wonderful. However, it doesn't seem so wonderful if one of those characters is actually dead, does it? Yeah, we're getting off to a gloomy start here, because this theory suggests that Up's Carl Fredrickson is actually deceased having passed away in his sleep after he was told he'd be forced to live in a retirement home. It actually makes a lot of sense, too. It suggests that the movie is Carl's journey through the afterlife, with young Russell being his guardian angel, one who is attempting to earn his wings by guiding Carl through his transition. Furthermore, Russell taking the form of a child was to fulfill Carl and Ellie's desire to have children. The house in the movie is symbolic of Carl's attachment to the physical world, and Paradise Falls is Carl's idea of heaven. Interesting, right? But you haven't heard anything yet. I don't think so. Not right now. You're getting your wishes, so sit down! Aladdin. So, Aladdin, you're probably thinking it's set centuries in the past, right? Well, yeah, it probably is, but there's a pretty damn dark and disturbing theory that suggests it might not be. The 1992 movie, of course, features the genie of the lamp, voiced so wonderfully by the late, great Robin Williams, and he makes reference to a number of modern movies and celebrities. Now, given that he was supposed to have been trapped in that lamp for thousands of years, and given the supposed time setting of the story regardless of that, that shouldn't be possible. I mean, how would he know of those references? Well, the theory we mentioned suggests that Aladdin is actually set thousands of years in the future, in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, after a world-ending disaster that set mankind back by millennia. Nice, huh? Wally. What a nice, friendly, harmless little robot Wally was. The star of the 2008 movie wouldn't hurt a fly, and the only evil robot to come out of by and large was Otto, right? Well, we'd like to think so, but one extremely dark theory actually suggests that Wally is responsible for the entire destruction of Earth. Yikes. We saw him happily cannibalizing parts from another model he found, adding it to his delightful collection of spare parts. But he also has a trailer full of parts. Just how many models did he tear to pieces? Definitely a lot more than he required to run. These were trophies from his previous kills. Bearing in mind Wally had been around for approximately 700 years, that 700 year long killing spree gradually wiped out the rest of the recycling robots. It explains why the planet looked like a total dump and why he's the only robot around. He literally destroyed Earth. Wreck-It Ralph. This is less of a theory and more something that fans have deduced actually happened. But it's not something you immediately think of, and it definitely puts a much darker edge on one aspect of 2012's Wreck-It Ralph. One of the movie's main characters, Sergeant Tamora Jean Calhoun, has a tragic backstory, in that she watched her husband-to-be get eaten by a cybug just seconds before they were due to marry, then killed the cybug in question. That's bad enough, but fans have pointed out that cybugs assimilate their victims and become them meaning Calhoun would have had to kill a murderous insectoid version of the man she loved. No wonder she was sometimes crabby. The Little Mermaid. There's a neat theory that suggests Disney's The Little Mermaid, Frozen, Tangled, and Tarzan are all set within the same universe. We won't go into why here, that's not the dark part of the century, but just believe us when we say it's true. The dark part comes because of what that means for 1989's The Little Mermaid in particular. The aforementioned theory suggests that the parents of Frozen's Elsa and Anna died at sea on the way to Rapunzel and Flynn's wedding, which would place their watery graves near Denmark. That means the wreck from which Ariel scounges human artifacts to satisfy her weird obsession is Elsa and Anna's parents' ship and Ariel was grave robbing from and desecrating the decaying corpses of a nice couple who perished en route to a wedding. Frozen. Speaking of Frozen, the 2013 movie was and remains an incredibly popular movie. In fact, it's the highest grossing animated movie of all time. 
Everybody loved it, especially children. But we're not sure the kids would be so fond of it if they believed a pretty dark theory that is doing the rounds about it. The heroic Kristoff seemed like a nice guy, right? Well, this theory suggests that the guy's clothes point to reindeer murder. The indigenous Sami people are known for wearing reindeer hide, and the likelihood is that the ice harvesters killed a reindeer and gave its pelt to Kristoff to keep warm. Here's where it gets really dark. This theory explains why Sven the reindeer is so attached to Kristoff. The guy is wearing what remains of his dead mother. Peter Pan 1953's Peter Pan really is a quintessential Disney classic. In the movie, the titular boy has a mischievous shadow with which he has a rather fun and playful relationship. But one dark theory suggests that there might be a sinister tale behind the shadow, and that it's actually a lot to do with dark magic. The theory is that Peter's shadow is a window into hell, and an extension of himself. Notice how it was able to touch and move things? For reference, Dr. Facilier's shadow in another Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog, could do the same thing, and he ended up being dragged to hell after making a deal with the devil. Could Peter have made a similar deal? It seems unlikely, but when you consider that it might have been in exchange for his eternal life, it starts to make sense. Let's just hope Peter keeps his side of whatever bargain he made with Satan. Partysaurus Rex Although it's not a full feature picture, 2012's Partysaurus Rex, a spin-off from the Toy Story movies, is indeed a short film, so we feel happy to include it here. The theory about it, however, is more based on the Monsters, Inc. movies, and it suggests that poor Sully has suffered a terrible fate. Just look at the toilet seat cover in Partysaurus Rex. Is not Sully? This revelation made the internet go crazy, after Reddit user Ranting Randall claimed to recall a quote from the original Monsters, Inc. movie, in which Randall Boggs said, I heard human skin monsters and make toilet covers out of their fur. We, like many others, have gone hunting for the line, but we couldn't actually find it, and people are now claiming it doesn't actually exist. Regardless, that toilet seat cover looks very suspicious, and definitely suggests that Monsters, Inc.'s star character is dead. Can you find the related quote? If so, please message us with the appropriate time code from the movie. Seriously, we really, really, really need to know. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs We're going back a long way now, pre-World War II in fact, to 1937 and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Given just how creepy this theory is, there's absolutely no way we could have left it out. You know how the prince in the movie is, well, the quintessential Prince Charming? Well, what if he wasn't? What if he was actually death itself? The theory suggests that the kiss he gave Snow White to revive her actually sent her to the afterlife. It stems largely from American Horror Story Asylum, in which the Angel of Death's method for sending people to the other side was to kiss them and suck the life out of them. Snow White saying her goodbye to the dwarves looked like she was being led off to a fairy tale ending, but what if she was waving goodbye to them for all eternity? Creepy, right? Moreover, the prince has a white horse. Revelation 6-8 states, I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death. The Incredibles You probably remember the no capes scene from 2004's The Incredibles, when Edna Mode tells Mr. Incredible about all the past superheroes who died because their capes got stuck in things like vortexes and missiles. And you probably remember Stratagale getting sucked into a plane engine by her cape. Well, there's a very dark side to all of that. Not only was Stratagale a mere school kid, making her death all the more tragic, the likelihood is that her death caused a plane crash, killing hundreds of civilian passengers. Remember how the movie tells of superheroes going into hiding because of the collateral damage they caused? That all makes sense now, right? Furthermore, Edna designed Stratagale's suit, so she probably blames herself. A dark theory suggests that she did the same for the evil Syndrome, and purposely included a cape in his ensemble in order to potentially get him killed as a way of making amends. That was totally wicked! Thanks for watching our video about 10 Disney theories that turn into the darkest movies ever. What other theories have you heard that make Disney movies seem a lot darker than they do on the surface? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one.